What's up YouTube? It's uh, Nathia JK here with another Minecraft tutorial. In this tutorial, I will be teaching you guys how to set up your very own Minecraft server as request from a couple of my subscribers. So, uh, let's get started. You want to start by opening your internet and uh, going to minecraft.net and uh, when you get here you're gonna want to look for the play now and below that it's gonna say download click that and then you want to download the exe minecraft server file right in this general area uh, this is if you're on windows and uh, it's gonna start to download and zero seconds left and show in folder okay so let's go ahead and uh, cut that and paste it onto our desktop okay so there it is and now you would like to make a folder call it whatever you want this can be like a YouTube server and then you just want to drag in that minecraft exe file and you want to run it um i'm going to pause it while it's running because it's going to start generating the files i'll be right back and it uh finished generating the spawn so when it finishes you want to type stop and this will stop your server uh don't ever click the x button that will always exit without saving so now you would like to go to the start and uh, click type in CMD and open up your command prompt. So when you get here, you want to type IP config. That is IP C O N F I G and hit enter. All this gibberish stuff will pop up. Um, it's really we don't really need to do anything with most of this it's just part of it okay so um we want to write down your IPv4 address and your default gateway meanwhile I'm gonna reopen my internet and you're gonna need the internet again for this next part no Okay, so assuming you wrote that down already, you're going to want to type in your default gateway. This is going to be different for everyone, so don't copy what I'm typing in. And then hit enter. Okay, so you're going to get here and it's going to ask for a uh, username and password. Usually the username would be on um, like admin and the password We usually be like admin or password or just n even no password sometimes. But since we reconfigured everything online, uh, my username is Gordon and the password is a really long code. So uh, if you need help like getting the default username and password, go to portforward.com. There will be a link to that in the description below. And then you just want to log in. And this page will look different for almost everyone. Unless you have the same router as me. Uh, I have a Cisco Link SE2000. And uh, when you get here, you want to look for something under the uh, lines of application and gaming. For me, that's on the t up to the top on the right. And, uh, uh, then you want to look at your, uh, IPv4 address, put in the last, uh, numbers right here after the dot, like the, uh, yeah, and then the last group of numbers, there's four groups of numbers in the last group, and you can call it, like, I call it Minecraft, because it's pretty simple. And uh, and the external IP address, you want to make that the default gateway, which is 25565. And then the internal port, uh, 25565. And I leave this on both. So, now that we got that taken care of, we're going to go ahead and uh, save the settings. 
and your configurations have been saved please click continue okay we are done using the internet so you can go ahead and now exit out of that and exit out of your command prompt and now you want to go to your server folder and you want to look for something that says server it's a properties file uh, you want to open that up with notepad I do it by uh, just clicking it and dragging it over to my notepad and uh, all this will pop up what you want to do here is uh, you want to look for server IP and type in your default gateway so I'm going to go ahead and type mine in and I've got it so you want to pretty straightforward allow nether true uh, what's the world folder called in here like right here the defaults world so obviously you want to leave that world enable carry I don't know what that is allow flight keep that false uh, you'll still be able to fly in creative mode and uh, fly with essentials essential etc um, the server port 25565 that's the default port um, world type default enable R cone I don't know what that is uh, level speed I've tried this several times it's never worked out for me the max build height that's a good number 256 uh, Y that's the Y axis um, spawn NPCs do you want NPCs to draw NPCs to spawn uh, whitelist that means if you set this to true you're gonna have to add people's gamer tags to the list in order for them to be able to join spawn animals do you want piggies cows and chicken and all those cute little creatures to join uh, leave that untrue if you do uh, snooper enabled I leave this untrue because this sends minecraft.net information about just like just how everything's running hardcore mode you want to keep that false unless you want to like die and not be able to rejoin uh, you can set a default texture pack for the server and here's a big thing online mode this is a uh, very important set this to true if you only want premium minecraft members to join otherwise set it to false to open a cracked server uh, pvp player versus player i keep that untrue the difficulty that's just uh, the difficulty of mobs i keep mine on one and then the game mode uh, zero is survival one is creative and two is adventure in adventure you can only you know operate things you can't place or break anything uh, max players I keep that on 20 because that's a nice number um, but for this video I'm going to set it to 10 uh, spawn monsters do you want uh, those pesky creepers to join pesky creepers and uh, yeah all of them uh, generate structures true do you want NPCs villages mine shafts ravines all that spawn I leave that on true too uh, view distance leave it at on 10 and the message of a day uh, the MOTD is the message of the day and you can set this to anything so for this I'm gonna change it to YouTube server to show you that works now I'm gonna set to Netria if I can spell it right Netria JK 99 okay so that could be whatever you want it to be but if it's too long it's gonna look really ugly trust me okay so every time you leave this you would like to save it and then now we're gonna open up the server and uh, I'm gonna open up my minecraft Oh, um, I screwed up on something. Uh, you're gonna need to get your IPv4 address again and open up this and change this to your IPv4 address. Uh, I'm sorry about that, guys. Again, the server IP has to be your IPv4 address, not your default gateway. My mistake. Okay, so let me go ahead and save that and attempt to run the server. Fingers. And 
it looks like everything's working so now you're going to want to open up minecraft sign in and um you're going to want to get a multiplayer and you're going to want to get a hold of your external IP address. You can do this by going to google.com and once you get to Google, you want to type in what's my IP. You are looking for your external IP address. This is right here. This is what your friends are going to type in when they join. So, your friends, strangers, whoever you want on your server. So, I'm going to leave that right there while I add a server. I'm going to call it uh, YouTube Setup. This can be whatever you want it to be the server name. Then for the server address, you want to type in what's right here. Your public IP address is... And then type that in. That's also going to be different for everyone. And then you want to click done. And it will load. So here we are. We have successfully set up our very own Minecraft server. As you can see, it's right there. That's the message of the day. No through JK99. And uh, now we're going to go ahead and join. So when you get here you can spawn like basically freaking anywhere I hate spawning in jungles it aggravates me so um if you try to break blocks around spawn you cannot break blocks uh, you can fix this by um going into this the minecraft server it has a little java logo and you want to type op space then your gamer tag like I'm gonna do op space Netria JK so I can opt myself okay so opt uh, can basically like ban players kick players all that good stuff to help protect the server and you can now build at spawn I would not give opt to everyone because that's just gonna set up your server for stuff that you don't want so don't give opt to everyone unless you like know them don't ever give op to strangers unless you have like played with them for a long time and you are willing to put your server at risk because people they'll join your server they'll act like sweethearts but they're not they will freaking destroy your server so don't just like if someone joins if you advertise a server if someone joins and says can i have op i can show you something really cool don't ever do it because what they can do is they can opt several alternate accounts and that's just not good so let me go ahead and sign in on a, another computer to show you guys that other people can join I'll be right back okay so as you can see I just got my brother to join and he's right over there see polar pancakes okay say that uh, polar pancakes has been a bad bad player okay you're being a bad player okay I really don't like you you griefed my tree I'm pissed at you okay so the solution to all griefers that you catch that you catch uh, slash kick then their full gamer tag then boom bitch you left okay rejoin I'm gonna show them how to ban Okay, so say uh, I don't want you to ever come back to my server. I really hate you. You destroyed my house, my friend's house, my friend's friend's house, and my friend's 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 house. I hate you. You're a naughty naughty player. You should not even be playing Minecraft. Okay, so now we're going to ban him. Uh, and... There we go. He has been banned. So, that's the solution to all griefers. Uh, to unban a player, you gotta do slash pardon. Then, their gamer tag. 
and your unbanned mix. So basically, uh, on your server, uh, you can change your game mode by doing slash game mode one. Switch over to creative, and from there you can fly. Do freaking anything. So, that's my tutorial on how to make a Minecraft server. Uh, this should work with all updates coming up in the future. All you gotta do is, uh, get the new Minecraft EXE file, then everything should be good. Uh, if you have any, uh, questions, comments, put those in the description. Remember to like, comment, rate, and subscribe. This is Matthew AJK, and peace.